Now let's look at our eighth and final example. Evaluate composition of trig functions uh, given this. It says write cotangent of arc cos x as an algebraic expression of x that does not involve trig functions. So let's figure this out. I can't cancel these because cotangent is not the opposite or the inverse of, excuse me, this is cosine inverse. So they're not the same. So let's go over this. Psi y cos x tangent is y over x. Cos is x over h. This says inverse. So remember your inverse, you would swap, and so cos inverse is x over h. That means in this situation, cos inverse of x, there would have to be a denominator. I'll make it be 1 because there's nothing down there. That means x is x and 1 is h. I go to draw. I don't know what x is, but I do know my h. My h has a value of 1. And this will be our y. Ignore that arrow part. Uh, here I have an x. Here I have an h of 1. Now if I wanted to solve for y, what would I do? I'd use Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, because that's my h. Now, if I'm solving for y, y is the same thing as y squared equals 1 squared is 1 minus x squared. I just subtracted the x squared over. That's what I did here. I subtracted x squared from both sides. And I got this. So now, y would equal the square root of, technically plus or minus, square root of 1 minus x squared. All right, so that's where we're at now. So that's my y. Um, because we're going to talk about first occurring, for sine, it would be first occurring up here at the positive. So I'm just going to put it as the positive of 1 minus x squared. That's what's going to go there. So now that we know that, we want to know if... Again, get, this technically finds the angle. So we found this angle. Now if you plug that into cotangent, it would give you whatever cotangent's relationship is. Well, cotangent's like tangent. Psi y cos x tangent is y over x. If that's tangent, then cotangent, given some angle, will spit out x over y. So our answer here, that this would spit out, is x over y. What's my x? Well, it is x. What's my y value? Well, we just found it as a square root of 1 minus y squared. That could be our answer, except we don't leave this in the denominator. So to get rid of it, we're going to multiply it by the same square root, 1 minus y squared over square root of 1 minus y squared, which gives me x times 1 minus y squared all over 1 minus y squared. What a terrible looking answer. but. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how I, that's an X here. Everywhere you see these X, this is just a stupid mess up. These Y's are supposed to be X's. I am so sorry. You were probably panicking on the other end going, where is the Y coming from? Okay, let's try this again. This is X squared. This is X squared, X squared, X squared, and X squared. That is my answer given there. Now I have one for you to try to work through, and I would really recommend you try this and bring it in, and, and let me look at it, and I'll kind of try to guide you through it. 